Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Equities. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates at the earliest. Now friends, all of us have seen what has happened after the imposition of LTCG in budget 2018. A lot of stocks have got butchered out of shape. So it is thus a pertinent time for us to bring to you a list of brokerage recommendations where they are highlighting the stocks which would do well post budget 2018. Today in this list, we bring to you Geojit's top 5 stock recommendations post budget 2018. Now this is not a research report per se, we are providing a link to the source information in the description section below. Please go ahead and go through that list to build more conviction around the buy decision. Also please don't just jump in, please go ahead and do your own research and consult your financial advisor prior to acting on any of the information that you see here. Please watch this video to know more. Now the first stock on the list is Escorts Limited which is available at 906.80. Now Escorts Limited is an engineering company which offers agricultural tractors and construction equipment. The company segments are agri machinery, auto ancillary products, railway equipment, construction equipment and others. Now if you were to look at the one year chart you would see that the company is on a consistent uptrend and a lot of wealth has been created here. The market cap of the company is 11,115.27 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one. The EPS is 23.79 which translates into a price to earnings ratio of 38.12 which is a bit expensive although when we compare it with the industry PE of 56.96 it still seems cheap. The book value is 162.44 which translates into a price to book ratio of 5.58. The dividend yield percent is on the lower side at 0.17. Whereas the promoter holding here is also average at 42.98. The 52 week high for the company stands at 922.95. Whereas the 52 week low for the company is at 375.05. Now if we were to look at the reasons why this has been highlighted as a potential beneficiary going forward. Vinod Nair who is the head of research at Geojit Financial Services says that escorts will be a direct beneficiary owing to government focused approach to encourage farm mechanization and the growth in infrastructure segment. The total allocation for rural, agriculture and allied sectors was rupees 2 lakh crore which is 10% higher than the previous budget and with this the agricultural credit has also increased by 10% and fixed at a record level of rupees 11 lakh crores which is expected to drive demand for tractors. Similarly Bharat Mala projects will create additional demand for the firm's construction equipment segment. Now the second company on the list is Interglobe Aviation or Indigo. Now the code for the company is INDIGO and the price is 1255.90. Now Interglobe Aviation Limited is engaged in the provision of passenger services and the company is engaged in the business of providing domestic and international scheduled air transport services under the brand name of Indigo. The company's segments include domestic which provides air transportation within India and international which provides air transportation outside India. The company operates at a low cost business model. Now if you were to look at the one year chart you would see that during the initial part of the year the company was on an uptrend but since then it has largely been flat. The market cap of the company is 48,265.88 crores which means that the company is a large cap one. The EPS is 66.74 which translates into a price to earnings ratio of 18.82. Now this is much cheaper compared to the industry PE of 25.34. The book value is 98.93 which translates into a price to book ratio of 12.69 which is very expensive. The debt to equity is 1.0507 whereas the dividend yield percent is good at 2.71. The promoter holding is very good at 77.91. The 52 week high for the company stands at 1346.70 whereas the 52 week low for the company is at 815. Now in the last three years the Indian domestic air passenger traffic grew at 18% per annum while domestic carriers were facing congestion in major airports. Considering this the proposal for increasing the capacity of 124 airports 
by five times is expected to boost the number of flights operated high traffic growth and operational efficiency will ensue as a result now the third stock on the list is upl limited which is available currently at rupees 718.05 the quote for the company is upl now upl limited provides crop protection solutions and the company is engaged in the business of agrochemicals industrial chemicals chemical intermediates specialty chemicals and the company segments include agro activity and non agro activity now the chart can be divided into two major parts one is when the company was on a consistent uptrend but after that the price has been steadily declining of late however there was a spike but again it has petered out the market cap of the company is 36502.56 crores which means that the company is a mid cap one the eps is 11.42 which translates into a price to earnings ratio of 62.88 which is much more expensive compared to the industry pe of 42.86 the book value is 150.85 which translates into an expensive price to book ratio of 4.76 the dividend yield here is 0.97 whereas the promoter holding here is low at 30.36 the 52 week high for the company stands at 902.50 whereas the 52 week low for the company stands at 680 now according to geojit the minimum support price msp of 1.5 times the cost of production for notified crops and increase in institutional credit for the agriculture sector to rupees 11 lakh crore is expected to see an uptick in the area under cultivation which will boost demand for seeds and crop production now upl with its presence across agri input value chain from seeds to post harvest chemicals will be a key beneficiary arising from this outcome The fourth company on the list is Larsen and Tubro Limited which is available at 1347.40. The quote for it is LT and Larsen and Tubro Limited is a technology, engineering, construction, manufacturing and financial services company. Now if you were to look at the one year chart you would see that the company rose during the initial part of the year then was flattish and of late there was again a spike. But since the budget like with most of the stocks this company has also fallen in price as far as the stock is concerned the market cap is 188775.00 crores which means that the company is a large cap one the eps is 29.95 translating into a price to earnings ratio of 44.99 now this is much more expensive compared to the industry pe of 22.30 however the factor that we must remember is the quality of this stock this is probably the best company which you can own in this sector the book value is 290.53 which translates into a price to book ratio of 4.64 the dividend yield is decent at 1.56 whereas the promoter holding is zero the 52 week high for the company stands at 1470 whereas the 52 week low is 973.38 now if you were to look at the reasons why this has been chosen as one of the outperformers allocation for nhai and roads and bridges has increased by 16% to rupees 70544 crores from rupees 60671 crores This will improve the outlook for infrastructure, EPC, and BOT companies like LNT. Additionally, the government is targeting to complete 9,000 kilometers of the national highway in FY18, which will help to rejuvenate the current execution cycle of EPC companies. Now, these factors combined would make it a future outperformer. Now, the final company on the list is NBCC India Limited, which is available at 208.35. The quote for it is NBCC. Now NBCC India Limited formerly National Buildings Construction Corporation Limited provides civil engineering construction services the company operates through three segments project management consultancy which is PMC real estate development and engineering procurement and construction which is EPC now if you were to look at the one year chart you would see that the company was on a consistent uptrend but of late there has been a fall in the prices of this company the market cap is 18751.50 crores which translates into a mid cap market capitalization The EPS is 4.09 translating into an expensive price to earnings ratio of 50.94. The industry PE is 40.29 which means that the company is a bit more expensive compared to the industry PE of 40.29. The book value is 18.60 which translates into a price to book ratio of 11.20 which is very expensive. The debt to equity is 0.6409 whereas the return on equity is 0.2247. Now The dividend yield for the company stands at a low amount of 0.78% whereas the promoter holding is decent 
and probably good at 74.50. The 52 week high for the company stands at 291.30, whereas the 52 week low for the company stands at 155.70. Now, GeoJet thinks that urbanization is another priority for the government, and missions like the Smart City and Amrut are expected to be positive for this company. The total cash outlay is expected to be rupees 2.04 lakh crores with as many as 99 cities selected under the ambitious smart city mission. Now NBCC has been a Navratna enterprise under the Ministry of Urban Development having expertise in executing large projects and thus is expected to be a key beneficiary of government's infrastructure spends. Now friends, please don't just jump in, please go ahead and do your own research. We are also leaving the link to the source information in the description section below. Please feel free to go ahead and check it out to build conviction around your investment decision. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you soon with another video.